He talked us into allowing him Why to put together. Yeah, I don't know. Tiny I look over the list. This is insane. This doesn't look real. I'm not that much shorter than you in real life. Do you want to come over here? I should. No. Oh, okay. Sorry. Anyway, Peter's got his fundamental list of the five greatest WWE wrestlers of all time. Mm. Peter, take it away. Okay. Well, first of all, I just want to say this. This question, getting this question, the idea was, oh, how about a top five? It's like when I get who, who the top five MCs of yeah, all time. You can't. I get it every day, and it's very hard, and it changes all the time. But I'm going to start here. Okay. In the number five slot, it's a guy who he was an attraction. He changed everything. Maybe the first true international Ooh. wrestling superstar of all time. Oh, Andre yeah. the Giant. Yeah. I mean, this Icon. is a before Hulk Hogan, before The Rock and John Cena. Andre the Giant was a name who everyone in the world knew. No question about it. Andre the Giant is an absolute legend. I mean, the, the, the fact is, in the ring, he was incredibly entertaining. His greatest, <laughs> oh, look at that. I mean, just look at that right there. And then on top of all that, someone else who will pop up on this list, Hulk Hogan, he never becomes Hulk Hogan as we know it without Andre the Giant. I like that. Um, he, he's, he's incredible. Let's move on to number four. And this may be controversial to some people, though in my mind he could be even higher. You see the hat. You see what's coming out there in the back. That would be Randy Poffo, a.k.a. Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, yeah. Also notable, Greeny, because he's yeah. the highest Jew on this list. I mean, <laughs> greatest Jewish wrestler now, now of Greeny's all time. Now he's back. You got Greeny back. So I'm extra proud. I'm extra proud of this one. Here's why Macho Man's the greatest. Beetle. He he can do it. He can he can work with small guys, big guys. He was great as a bad guy. He was great as a good guy. He was great on the mic. Uh, Personal. Maybe the most athletic wrestler I've ever seen. Jalen. It's cultural. It is. There you have it. And I'm disappointed you didn't bring up Elizabeth. Oh, the well, of, of course, Ms. Valet, Miss Elizabeth, God rest her soul, the original uh, woman in WWE, yes. an icon as well. Absolutely. So we move on to number three, and this man right here, Daddy, was oh. one of the greatest to ever do it. And he, yes. and he was the man behind so many people in NXT and the WWE right now. Dusty Rhodes, the American dream. American dream. God rest his soul. He is such an icon, uh, the son of a plumber. This is a guy who showed, for people like me, who weren't necessarily you know, gifted physical attributes like you, Jalen, you could still be a superstar, flab and all. He was incredible in the He's ring, AC so entertaining. Baby. He was incredible. I like and, him. And on mic. <laughs> He has two of the most memorable promos. Are you laughing at my height next to Jalen yeah, again? You look that like was cartoon. natural. She was like, ha. Um, <laughs> Dusty Rhodes, though, an absolute icon and one of the best brains in the business. But you're right. Ever. I think the mic part. Oh, incredible. Yeah. Number two, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Woo! Friend of the show. They say he could have a five-star match with a broomstick. Yes. And and it might be possible, 16-time champion. The man was simply the guy everybody loved Ooh. to hate for so, so long. <laughs> and now we just love to love him. Yeah. I mean, talk about a second act. The man was on his deathbed a year and a half ago. Correct. And now he's doing features with Quavo. I've never seen anything <laughs> like this. Or, or Offset, whatever. It's absolutely whatever. unbelievable the career he's had. Such an influence, so great on the mic and in the ring. And then this last one, before we get there, I will say, this comes with a little bit of controversy, Greeny, and I know you'd appreciate this. Yeah. Sometimes the obvious one, putting Babe Ruth in that spot, is like, okay, really? But ultimately, this guy, without him, in spite of all of his recent flaws, the business just isn't what it is that's without fair. Hulk Hogan. That's, yep. that's, that's the bottom line. Brother. If Hulk Hogan doesn't slam Andre the Giant Brother. in front of 93,000 in at the Pontiac Silverdome back in 1987, am I working at WWE? Are we all watching the WWE Network? Are this we even guy, here? I don't know. Are we even alive? <laughs> it's July 4th. It's Hulk Hogan, for God's sake. Oh, and a PR. And he was the star of Saturday Night Main Event oh, as my well God. when those started. Oh, that was classic. So many moments. And not to mention. He was good. He was bad. It was everything. He was the star of No Holds Bars as well. A great film. That's a good he list. Was, he was That's Thunder Lips list. in Rocky Three. That's exactly right. And, I mean, a lot of people will. They love it. When you first get really hardcore into wrestling, you start going, uh, he wasn't really that great a wrestler. Go back and watch Hogan's matches. He had great matches with everybody, including The Rock, when he was like 47 years old. So yeah. who would be the really obvious ones? I, I grew up with this stuff, and I have to admit that I haven't really yeah, paid tough. attention to it in a long time. I used to watch it when it was the Junkyard Dog 
and, and, and the, the fighting Samoans, Afa and Sika, and all wow. the, the, the Von Erics. Yep. So we're going a way back. Eric. Jimmy Superfly Snooker. There you go. But guys like Rowdy Roddy Piper. Piper's I mean, Pit. Who, who would be the obvious names that not, people are going to get mad at you or not on this list? Um, one. Uh, Bruno San Martino would be one. Right. Um, the Undertaker is totally reasonable to be uh, in the I top five. I would want five. Stone Cold on there. Stone Cold, The Rock, or both Shawn Michaels. Yeah. There are some people, it's my hot. heart included, that would say Bret Hart should be there. So many. But it's just hard to put them. All orange dog. Mr. Wonderful. We could Wonderful. do this for nine segments. By the way, no, every, what I find about being a wrestling fan is whenever you bump into people who were children in America, nothing brings them more joy than just referencing old wrestlers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. People yeah. just yeah. like yeah. to say yeah. the names yeah. over yeah. and over again. Keep saying them out loud. Cowboy Bob Orton. <laughs> yeah. I grew up with all this. Tommy the, Rich. Tommy Tommy Wildfire Rich. I'm going to tell you, you're going pretty deep. Now, Green. Iron Sheik. <laughs> well, he's older than us. World British Championship Bulldogs. Wrestling with Jeremy. Gordon Soley on TBS. But referencing TBS Golden so Gordon Soley. We've lost control. 